Hi there, my name is Victoria and in this video I will show you how to solve your PHP installation appears to be missing the MySQL extension error message. You may encounter this missing SQL error message when loading your WordPress website. Common culprits include a non-existing MySQL extension, outdated WordPress software, or an old PHP version. No need to worry, as this type of error is easy to fix. There are four simple ways to fix this error, starting with checking your MySQL extension. If you already use a newer PHP version than 5.6, the extension is unnecessary. Go on and try other ways to fix the error, otherwise you need to check whether the MySQL extension has been installed. You can do that by uploading a PHP info.php file into your browser. Access the root directory of your WordPress site. You can use an FTP application such as FileZilla or access Hostinger's file manager from HPanel. Navigate to public HTML folder, create a new file, name it as phpinfo.php. Then add the following code snippet and click save. Now you'll need to load this file into your web browser by adding slash phpinfo.php after your website's URL, similar to my example. Once that loads, the page will show you a complete list of your website's PHP settings. To solve the error, find the client API version row. If you can't find it, that means the extension is not installed. Contact your hosting provider and ask them to install the extension for you. If you're using Hostinger, you can manage PHP extensions via HPanel. Go to Advanced, then PHP Configuration. Choose your PHP version and ensure to tick the MySQL extension option. Once you're sure the PHP extension is installed, the next step is to check if it's properly configured. One of the main causes of PHP configuration problems is that you are uploading the wrong php.ini file, or it has an incorrect file path. This can happen if you upload a file intended for Windows while using a Linux-based server or vice versa. Find the following information in the loaded configuration file row in the PHP info.php file. You'll need to download this file to your computer to create a backup. After that, delete the PHP info.php file using the file manager and check whether that solved the error. If not, it's time to check your PHP version. To check the PHP version of your site, access your WordPress admin dashboard. Navigate to Tools and choose Site Health. Click the Info tab, scroll down and expand the server settings to see what PHP version you are using. Another method is to use the PHP info file you uploaded earlier. Scroll down to the course section and look for the row that says PHP version. If your PHP version starts with the number 7, you should update the WordPress software. However, if the version starts with a 5, you may need the MySQL extension instead. If you are currently using PHP 7 or newer, an outdated WordPress installation could be causing the error. Commonly, WordPress version 3.9 or lower often cause this error. I recommend updating your WordPress software to the most recent version. Doing so has other benefits for your WordPress sites, such as improved security and overall performance. But before you update your WordPress software, ensure you backed up your website's files. Now to update WordPress software, go to Dashboard menu, then click Update. A notification message should pop up telling you to update your WordPress version if it's outdated. Follow the instructions and you should be good to go. You can also update the course software manually. Go to WordPress.org and download the latest WordPress installation version. Then extract the file to your computer. Open the folder that contains all the WordPress files. Delete the wp-config-sample.php and wp-config.php files, as well as the wp-content folder. If you can't find these among your existing files, proceed to remove the ones you see in the installation folder. Upload the rest of the files and folders to your server. In case you get an error message about duplicate files, choose the Overwrite option. Once everything is uploaded, your WordPress website should work properly. So that's how you solve the missing SQL error on WordPress websites. Subscribe to Hostinger Academy channel for more guides like this. Thank you for watching and good luck on your online journey.